It was a beautiful afternoon and once again we decided to make the most of the evening weather and we started to plan another night dive. You go in 10 minutes before the high tide and just slowly make your way across the channel. And once there we were both inundated with tiny little fish that were pretty much attracted to the lights. Life's pretty brutal here in the evening and everything seems to be feeding towards the, the late evening and into the dusk. As you can see this crab trying his best to catch a little fish and eventually does. Another one of the fish that are perfectly disguised within the seagrass is the little razor fish. Hunting upside down with their heads down towards the ground. Amazingly adapted and uh, using their pectoral fins to, to keep their buoyancy perfect. Another strange looking fish was this calf fish. This is a juvenile, he hasn't got little horns yet, but as they get older, they start developing little protrusions from between his eyes and just alongside his tail. And here's one of the adults. Completely different color patterns and you can see the horns that have now started to develop from either side of his eye or just in front of his eye and just below his tail. And possibly one of the finds of the evening was this frogfish. A fish that's not known to break any speed records, very, very slow moving, disguises his key as well, and more adapt to almost walking along the bottom rather than swimming. And here's another one. This is slightly orange, and we can actually see what a lot of people call the fishing rod. It's that small protrusion that's just above his upper lip and he dangles that little worm-like animal in front of his mouth. When the smaller fish arrive, he's able to, to pounce on them and gulp them down. Again, another one of the flounders or the soles just drifting across the bottom. And this is an extremely strange little animal that we found as well. And again, have no idea what it is. It looks like it's possibly part of the the nudibranch family but 
certainly some animal that we have never ever encountered before. He seems to have tiny hairs below his underside and uh, just moving along very very slowly between the seagrass and through all the small little stumps and debris that's lying on the bottom. Another very strange and weird dive. 